Hi, this is the Phoenix. Back to another energy update for the sign of Cancer. Just keep in mind these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Cancer. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming through for you guys today. So someone is about to have a tower moment. Someone is about to have a shake up, a realization. And that realization is going to bring a lot of confusion, but it is also going to bring an ending. A transformation is about to take place in your life, Cancer. To bring you your wish fulfillment and a romantic connection with someone. But there is some type of realization you're going to have to have first. So although you may feel a bit confused, it is going to bring change in your orbit. Spread messages from my cancers. Okay, so someone is definitely looking at you through social media. They're very curious about what it is you're doing. They are trying to find out stuff about you. Could be a fire sign, a Weasley, or a Sag. But this person knows how to get what it is they want. They know how to go after things passionately. And they definitely know what it is they want when it comes to you. Yeah. For some of you, it could be a Sagittarius, but there is definitely going to be some balancing out happening. But I feel like you're going to have a tower moment first. That is going to bring you to the realization and give you the type of balance you want in your life. That will push you towards this new person. Because you do not want to reconcile with someone. You're not going to want to reconcile with them. Or it could be that you took a moment to realize this person's worth and value in your life. It would seem that you both are not communicating right now, but it would seem that you're keeping tabs online with each other. So somebody is looking at somebody here, or you're both looking at each other. Yeah. This person wants commitment. They want long-term success. They don't want just any riffraff relationship. This person wants commitment, home, family life. They're not going to accept a relationship until it offers them that type of stability. Could be a water sign you're dealing with Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. You're going to be torn between two things, two people, two realizations. But you're going to try to juggle both of them. After you had this tower moment or you had this realization. But somebody here is pulling back their energy. They're going to be very stingy with their time, their attention, and their money. So somebody, something happened here, and somebody is pulling back. Could be you, Cancer, could be the other person. But somebody did not express their love. Somebody was using someone's love against them. So it was an emotional manipulation happening. So it's either you were manipulated by this person or they were manipulated by you, but somebody refused to say how they truly felt at that time. Yeah. So the new beginning that you're hoping for may not happen for you the way you want it to. You may have thought that after you took a time out from this person that they were going to welcome you back with open arms. That may not be so. But you are trying to manifest a new beginning. You are, you are trying to manifest this person and this relationship. 
you're also trying to com to manifest communication. Could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius you're dealing with. But somebody here wants to take action and communicate with the other person. But somebody is ready to break free from some type of emotional manipulation. <coughs> and accept the truth. Or you're going to be forced by the universe to accept the truth. But someone is trying to break free here. Because you may see this person as your empress or they may see you that way. Because you see this person to be balanced, wholly, solely independent, knows what it is they want, very communicative, is a very loving person. You see growth with this person and you're going to want to return to them. But you may feel that they are going to communicate with you eventually. I think you are going to have to take the initiative and the first step to do that. Yeah. Could be a soulmate or a twin flame connection. Could be a Gemini you guys are dealing with. But you have a choice to make when it comes to love. Yeah. You could express yourself to this person. You could communicate your love to this person. Offer your love and see what happens. Because right now this person doesn't see you as much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, so what it is you guys will be doing or the person will be doing towards you is that they are going to offer you a relationship, love. They are going to finally communicate how they feel towards you. You are the one going to have to decide if you are willing to build on this connection or let it go. But I do see you also wanting a collaboration with this individual. But you're closing your eyes off to a decision that you have to make. You have to decide to choose this person. You're having sleepless nights, anxiety, a lot of stress. But luck is on your side. Things will move in your favor. But it will, it will all happen in divine timing. But there is some type of truth that you're going to have to learn first. And then you want, you're going to want to go back to this person and offer them something serious and stable. So you're taking your time and going towards this person or they're taking their time and coming towards you. But what it is this person wants or you want at the end of the day is a solid, stable commitment. And they're not just going to jump into anything with you. They're not just going to offer their love again or just be willing to be blindsided by you. Yes, you do have deep romantic feelings for them, but you're also keeping some secrets. You're also doing some lying and manipulation. So it's time for you to open up because you want to move towards them. You want to rush into them very quickly once this tower moment has happened. Because once you have this realization, you're going to realize that this is your person and you're going to charge full speed ahead towards them. But you still have to decide where are you charging to? Where are you rushing off to? Where are you taking your life and what is your purpose? But you have to decide that. No one else can decide that for you but you. Divine timing is definitely at play here, Cancer. Mm -hmm. You may want to take action towards someone. But coming into them as a player is not going to work. Because they don't want to be anyone's option. And they definitely do not want to be a third party. So this person is pretty clear cut. They're not going to be with you if you're with someone else. They're going to focus on something. They're going to focus on building themselves. They're going to focus on their job. And they're going to focus on pushing themselves to where they feel they need to be. So if you think you're going to come back in and offer them 
an apology or just start to communicate like nothing happened, you may be in for rude awakening. Because this person knows what it is they want. And if you decide to close off your emotions to this person, don't expect them to communicate with you. Don't expect them to chase you. If you want this person, you have to go after them. Third, what is the best advice for my cancers in this specific situation? Your guidance is divinely guided, so everything will happen for you in divine timing. Your angels and your guides will help you. You've been training for this for a lifetime, so it could definitely be a past life connection. So, this is what I have for you guys. I hope it does help you in some way. Have a good one.